Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mauer Doctor here with another review. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of Sleep Cleaner. If you have watched my videos in the past, you will see that I always run a scan with C Cleaner to move the temporary internet files and cookies before I run a scan with the antivirus that I am testing that day. I've used this program for probably about four years now, and I think it's a very good system optimization tool. So I decided I wanted to make a review of it today, as there's also additional settings. So if we look at to some of those settings first, with the main user interface, you see that there are different areas of Windows that it will automatically scan to delete files. If we look under Internet Explorer, it'll automatically delete the temp internet files, the history, and the cookies, the recently typed URLs, and those are all automatically set to delete. Windows Explorer, it's set to automatically delete recent documents, items in the start menu, other Explorer MRUs, thumbnail catch, and taskbar jump list. And under system, it's set to clean the recycling bin, delete temp files, clear the clipboard, clear the memory dumps, and it's also set to remove Windows log files. All these are set by default. I've never had an issue with any of the selections that CCleaner has automatically set to delete. If we wanted to select additional options here, there are shaded out options that we could select. However, if we click on one of those options, we get a warning saying, However, if we want to select one of those options, we get a warning regarding changing that selection. And in this case, under Save Passwords, it says you will lose any Save Passwords if you select this option. We will just keep that unchecked. If we check under Applications, it includes our web browser here. I believe also if you have Firefox installed, like on my host machine, it will have a Firefox option as well here for cleaning the internet and catch, history, and cookies, and so forth. You also have multimedia. If you have like Adobe Reader, it would also appear under here. Windows Media Center and Windows Media Player, the only two multimedia programs installed in this computer right now are both checked to be cleaned. Under Utilities, we have Windows Defender, which comes built into Windows 7. And we also have the one program, WinRAR, also checked. And under Windows, we have the Microsoft Management Console, Microsoft Search, and Reg Edit, all of which are checked. Now, there are two ways to run a scan with CCleaner. Either you can click just Analyze, which will analyze the files, but it'll let you know the breakdown of what has been what is going to be removed. And then you click Run Cleaner, or you could just directly click Run Cleaner, and it'll remove all of the files. And then at the end, it'll sh it'll show you a synopsis of all of the files that have been removed. Personally, I'm comfortable enough with Scene Cleaner that I just click Run Cleaner. But just for the sake of this test, we are going to click Analyze first. It shows that there are 66 megabytes of files that are able to be removed. As you can see, we have about 50,000 kilobytes of Internet Explorer files that are being occupied that CCleaner can remove. It tells you exactly how many files that is as well, which is a nice feature of CCleaner. And now we can click Run Cleaner. We'll get a prompt saying this process will permanently delete files from your system. Are you sure you wish to proceed? We will click OK. And you can also check mark do not show me this message again, which I would normally do on my host computer. So we'll just click OK. Depending upon how often you run a scan with CCleaner, this can take anywhere between, like it took here, five seconds, and it could take a couple minutes, depending upon how much space needs to be cleared. And now this isn't just the only feature of CCleaner. There's also a registry cleaner built into CCleaner. There is a lot of debate about if what registry cleaners. There's also a registry cleaner built into CCleaner. It's always been a debated issue as to whether or not cleaning the registry really makes a difference on system performance. Personally, for me, I feel that it has. So probably about once a month, I run a, a scan in the registry with CCleaner. We always scan for issues, and then it'll give us a list of all of the issues that it found, and it'll give you the location in Windows of where to find that key or file in question. 
And when we click fix selected issues, we're prompted if we want to back up changes to the registry, which I would highly recommend. I personally just save it to the desktop here. You could save it to the documents folder or anywhere you feel comfortable saving it to. It shows that there are 39 issues that are ready to be fixed. I will select fix all selected issues because if we click fix issue, we'll go through one at a time. We'll just click all, we'll just click fix all selected issues to make this process go quicker. The issues have been fixed. We could restart the computer. I'm not really going to do that because I do not feel that, that is necessary. Under tools, we have an uninstall area to uninstall programs that are installed in the computer. This is very helpful in older versions of Windows, such as like Windows 98, Windows 2000, where it's a little bit harder to find a place to uninstall programs in Windows. You kind of have to dig a little bit deeper. Whereas CCleaner, you can just bring this tab open and you can uninstall the program right through here, which is nice. Under startup, it shows startup entries that are set to run when the computer boots up. This is a substitute for MS config. But anyway, I think this is nice, especially for Windows Vista, Windows XP. It's nice just to get right in there and you can disable startup entries. Under file finder, it searches for duplicate files. Nothing too special about that. I really don't use this. Under system restore, if you had a bunch of system restores in your computer, they would all appear in a list here. It's a really nice feature. You can just you can remove system restore points you no longer need, and it tells you a description of when that system restore took place. So rather than going into Windows and going under system restore and manually deleting. The restore points you can free up some space just going into CCleaner and deleting them through here. And under Drive Wiper, it securely erases the contents or free space on a drive. You can either set it to remove free space or the entire drive. This is a little bit misleading because even if you select an entire drive, it would not really mess with the boot sectors or anything like that. This would really pertain to removable media such as flash drives or external hard drives. That would that would be what it would remove. I have never done that before. And you can also wipe over free space if you wanted to make sure that deleted files were not recovered. You could write it over so many times. You could do it once, three, seven, or 35, which is kind of obsessive. But I've really never had the need to do that but the option's always there. And you can select which drive you wanted to do this with. If you had a removable media stick in, another option would appear below and it'd be under the D drive. And if we go under additional options here, it shows us our product version. Now I have to warn you, CCleaner has new updates about once every couple weeks and they make you manually go onto their website and download it, which we will do in a couple minutes. Just to check, even though we are all up to date, we will check for additional updates. We'll go through that process. If we check under settings, it shows us our language. As you can see, there are many languages that are included in CCleaner. CCleaner is automatically turned off to run when the computer starts up. There's also an add run CC Cleaner option to the recycling bin menu and an open CCleaner option to the recycling bin context menu and it's set to automatically check for updates to CCleaner. All these options here can be set during the installation of CCleaner, which we will do very shortly. And we have the secure deletion, kind of goes back to the drive wiper. Set to normal file deletion, which is faster, or secure file deletion, which is slower. Again, I really don't have a need for that unless you were planning on getting rid of your computer, in which I would recommend using a program that is meant to permanently delete the contents of a computer, as this really doesn't erase what you would think it would. So it's definitely a little bit misleading. It would not make a computer unbootable. Your files would pretty much be intact. So overall, I really wouldn't mess with this. It's not really that big of a deal. And shows what drives that set to wipe free space from if you chose to do so. 
Um, you can also save cookies for specific websites. So if you want to save your password for a certain website, you could just drag and drop it into the cookies to keep. So if there are a list of websites, you could just drag them in to the cookies to keep side, and which would save the information on that website. Under include, you can select additional files and folders you wish the cleaner to remove. Again, it's really unnecessary. I just delete files and then I run a scan with CCleaner and any remnants that are left behind will usually usually be picked up. Under exclude, select files, folders, and registry, registry entries you wish CCleaner to exclude from removing. Pretty self-explanatory. And under advanced settings, only delete files from Windows 10 folder older than 24 hours. That's done to prevent files that are still in use from being accidentally deleted, kind of as a safety precaution. Show prompt to back up registry issues, which is always a good idea. I highly recommend backing up the registry whenever you are modifying it, not just through CCleaner, but if you're modifying anything, I would recommend backing it up. Skip user account control warning, when I guess when you're starting up the program, and enable Windows jump list task. And you can also restore default settings through, through this tab at the bottom. And there is really no difference between the free and the paid version, which we will find out in. And this shows us the product version right here. The exact version is 4.09, build 4,471. Now about once every three weeks, this check for updates hyperlink below will change to something along the lines of a new version that's been released. By clicking on that, it'll open up your web browser. We're just using Internet Explorer here just for argument's sake. This is what it'll say. Instead of saying you'll have the latest version, it'll say new version has been released. And you'll have two options below. It's either yes, I want to upgrade or no thanks. Yes, I want to upgrade that. will take you to the professional version, and then it will try and get you to buy it. If you want to download the free version, which is just as functional as the paid one, I would recommend clicking no thanks here. And if we actually compare the free and the professional version side by side, we see there's very little difference. The only difference is automatic cleaning, like the big one, cleaning definitions are kept up to date automatically. I'm not sure that would mean we wouldn't have to go through this whole process of opening up the web browser and, and downloading the new version every time it's released, but, but nothing too major. And now we will proceed to download the free version. Thank you for downloading CCleaner. Your download should start automatically. If you do not get this pop-up in Internet Explorer or you don't get any notification down below in Google Chrome or in Firefox, you can just click start the download button right here, which will force it to try and restart the download. But anyway, we have we have this download notification from Internet Explorer. We will download this file. Now you can either save it to the desktop or we could run it directly. It's only about four megabytes, so it's a very small installer. So that's always nice. We will run that file. We will run it again. All right, C Cleaner. Now we got to the setup page. Welcome to C Cleaner version 4.09 setup. Click next to continue. This is where you'll select your language. I'm just going to go with English here. And here are the options that I was talking about earlier. Personally, I just keep everything checked. Desktop shortcut is always good. Start menu shortcut. There'll be a shortcut through here, as you can see right here. Add run CCleaner option to the recycling bin context menu. As you can see we have run and open right through the recycling bin. And automatically check for updates to CCleaner and enable intelligent cookie scan. I think the intelligent cookie scan is just a little bit more sensitive, but I've ne again, I've never had a problem running a scan with CCleaner, so I have no problem leaving that enabled if it comes default like that. Now, it's, as you can see, that was a very quick installation, completing the CCleaner version 4.09 setup. CCleaner version 4.09, it's been installed on your computer. Click Finish to close setup. 
We have the option to run CCleaner version 4.09 and view the release notes, which will open up the browser. And we see that we have the release notes down here. They release a new version every couple weeks, so there's never really any big updates that come out. So that was basically all there is to know about CCleaner. I think it's a very good program. They've been around for a very, very long time, very trusted. Haven't really made any major changes over the years. It's still a very good cleaner. The same company also offers a fragging program known as the Fraggler. I've tried it out before. Personally, I prefer OsLogic this defrag, but that's for another day. But just for an overall system optimization, temp internet file remover, I would highly recommend CCleaner. So I think that does it for this review. Take from it as you wish, and I will talk to you later. Bye.